Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmbossonboon.com and today I'm going to take you along on a fall day as I cook, clean, and decorate with fall things. I have some little boys with me that are really loving my fall decor. Yeah! Woo! I started this morning by making some pumpkin spice scones. Now those are supposed to be going on the blog soon, but I'm not 100% sure the recipe turned out perfectly this morning, but it was really good. But I did a long fermented version, so last night I got the sourdough component, flour, pumpkin, butter, and cream just soaking overnight so that they'd be long fermented, and then I added the pumpkin spice and some of the leavening and all of that in the eggs this morning and chocolate chips. They were very good, but I feel like they needed a little bit more flour, I'm not sure. Then I did some cleaning in the kitchen. Now I want to, I have a few things I want to do today. I want to add a few fall florals throughout the house. I also want to decorate the front porch with some pumpkins and mums. We are getting new sidewalks put in. And so I know that they're going to be, I think they said they're going to be coming today to fill in the polymeric, polymeric sand. So that'll be like a cement and we can't walk on it. So I need to get that done before they come. If they're coming, he said either tomorrow morning or this afternoon, I don't know for sure. So we're gonna get that done. I want to rearrange the hutch in the living room. It was the dining room, now it's the living room. I really neglected that room and I've piled on so many things onto the hutch. And so I want to clean it up, redisplay some china. I might bring in a little bit of the red which is a great fall color, we'll see. I also have some lunch and dinner planned that I'll be making, so I'm gonna take you along with me. Now I have this bouquet from my sister's wedding that we had in the barn last November. Some parts of it look really pretty, some don't, so I'm thinking about cutting out some of the elements that look better and using it and some of my vases here on my open shelving. up from the basement some of my faux eucalyptus from the Christmas bin. I thought I would throw that in just to add a little bit of fresh green. I'm gonna wash that one. Are you helping mommy make it into a flower arrangement, huh? Oh, 
Oh, is that pretty? Micah, what are you doing? Are you using your sword? Yeah. I'll cut you. Hey, don't do that. Shh. Shh. Hey, Micah, do you think our uh, our sidewalk guys are ever going to come today? Or do you think they're big old liars and they say they're going to come that they never do? They're not. I kind of agree. I do want to take a quick moment out of my day to tell you about today's video sponsor, Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an online grocery store that has all natural and organic items. I find that with the Thrive Market brand in particular, there are a lot of items that I can get on real basic foods like nuts and coffee and jams that are a much better price than my local grocery store. I also like to pick up a few specialty items that I have a hard time finding locally, such as coconut aminos. Sometimes I'll get like an Indian simmer sauce or some kind of mayo that looks really delicious. I'll throw that in or every once in a while if a kid is with me, we might throw in a certain chocolate bar. I also like that I can get my einkorn pasta and flour and my supplements for pregnancy. I get those on there as well. Like bee pollen, iron, vitamin C, things like that. Thrive Market offers two membership options so you can either go month to month for $9.95 a month or do the full year, which is what I have been doing for so many years, for $59.95 a month, which ends up being a little bit of a discount month to month when you go that route. On their website, they really streamline the process. If you shop often like I do, you will see your favorite items just pop up and so you can add them to your cart really quickly. You can also sort by dietary preference, so whether you're gluten-free, dairy-free, whatever, you can select for those items to be filtered. Thrive Market is offering my viewers 25% off your first order, plus a free gift by using my link, thrivemarket.com forward slash farmhouse on Boone. I'm gonna get a simple lunch of chili going. I have some beans going in the Instant Pot, ground beef, I'm just gonna add canned tomatoes, I think I'm also going to either roast or saute up some diced butternut squash to throw in here as well. And then it'll just be a nice, lovely fall meal. I'll also maybe add in some, obviously, chili powder, salt, pepper. I usually like to add in some einkorn pasta, but we'll probably on the next time we eat this, because we'll have leftovers, stretch it further with a box of pasta. It's like my favorite meal for fall.
I decided to bring all of my red dishes from the kitchen over to the hutch area, all of the blue from in there. And so now I have blue in here, red in there, and it just helps me to decorate the better. I don't know. I, I like keeping them one way or the other. Now I'll probably swap these all out during Christmas time because whenever I start bringing in like red Christmas mugs, I really love the red everywhere, but decided to keep this blue for fall. Okay, I was going to make a different dinner, but I ended up making such a big batch of chili that we had chili for lunch. Now I'm going to saute some butternut squash, add that in, make a box of einkorn pasta, shred some cheese, and then stretch this with the addition of the pasta and the butternut squash to another meal. Instead of making something else, we're just gonna have a whole chili day. So just keeping it easy, instead of putting this back in the fridge, we're just going to have this again. Mm -hmm. 